Hello, everyone. My name is Caitlin Harris, and I am a doctoral candidate in the musicology department here at the University of Illinois. Today, I am joined by Professor Juan Jose Navarro, who is going to be a guest conductor on the Illinois Wind Symphony's February 14th concert next week. And he currently is a teacher at the Real Conservatorio Profesional now, the Musica of Almeria, where he conducts the symphony orchestra and the choir. On the concert program, he is going to be conducting three pieces. The first is a Pasadoble, Certamen Levantino, then the Pensado Glosses II, and finally, Jerónimo Jiménez's Intermedia La Boda de Luis Alonso. And I want to say thank you for joining me and welcome to this interview series. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you, of course. Um, so one of the things that I really noticed looking at your website and your biography is that you've had a chance to work with so many different types of ensembles. And I wanted to ask you if you noticed any specific challenges or advantages when it comes to working with wind bands in particular. Yes, uh, I think uh, it's very important uh, to conduct different ensembles because uh, you can uh, open the, the mind of the of the conducting uh, job. Uh, uh, and uh, as you know, it's very different. It's very different to conduct a choir uh, where you have uh, just uh, voices or a wind symphony or a orchestra because you have strings. No? So I think it's very important to to listen the different ensembles and to to try to involve in in one conductor job uh, conducting job uh, and i think in my opinion uh, to conduct different ensembles uh, help a lot to the uh, to the conductors and i advise to all the students that they try to conduct different ensembles not just focus in wind uh, symphony or orchestra or choir Interesting. And so uh, as, because you're a guest conductor on this concert, obviously you have not worked extensively with the musicians that you're coming to conduct. Uh, is Do you approach when you guest conduct ensembles differently because you don't regularly, regularly see these musicians? Uh, could, could you repeat the question, sorry? Because I, yeah, I, yeah, I, of I, course. No problem with the connection, yes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, so I'm really curious if you treat guest conducting on concerts the same way you would if you worked with the ensemble uh, regularly. So if you saw the musicians every week, or is it different when you're coming to kind of work only during the last few rehearsals with an ensemble? Uh, um, I think... Uh... This war is is very different for the the conductor because I have, for example, sometimes I'm going to conduct a concert and I have just one rehearsal, and uh, with sometimes with uh, professional ensemble is one rehearsal and they have no rehearsal uh, before the songs. So in one rehearsal, in rehearsal you must be very clear. You must go uh, just for the important things. Sometimes, like uh, will be in Illinois. Uh, I will have two rehearsals, but uh, Dr. Geraldi uh, first have rehearsal it, and I am sure very good. So it's like uh, I, uh, I need to take just some important thing, but very small because Dr. Geraldi uh, have done a very good uh, job. And sometimes I, I conduct orchestra, for example, uh, where I have maybe six rehearsals. So. Um, I think it always is different and always the conductor must uh, study before how uh, we'll do the rehearsal because always is, uh, is, is different, always is different. Right, so that's really interesting and I'm glad you bring that up that it, it depends on the ensemble and the context of the concert and that's really fascinating to me that it, I mean, it seems like it makes sense and I don't know why it wouldn't make sense, but it, different rehearsal times would dictate the type of work you do, right? Yeah, yes, of course. Cool. Um, for this concert, were you the one who chose the three pieces that you're going to be conducting? Uh, to be honest, uh, it was, uh, we was 
speaking, we were speaking, um, Dr. Gerald and me, uh, to think what is the most important for the students. So I did uh, a proposal for Dr. Geraldi with different songs uh, because I want to know what uh, is the thought of the American students. And Dr. Dr. Geraldi advised uh, me uh, which songs uh, he think will be better for this, uh, this time. So I decided more pieces and finally Dr. Geraldi and me we decided the three last song that we will do, yes. Right, so it was a nice collaboration between the yeah. two of you in picking it. Um, were there any reasons that you picked these particular pieces? Yes, I think uh, <clears throat> always when I conduct in, uh, in US, uh, because I conduct uh, several times, uh, I try uh, to bring uh, the, the typical Spanish music, because I think it's the most interesting for the students uh, to know the, the music of the other countries. And always I try to, to do a Paso Doble. Paso Doble is a very easy song, but it's very traditional in Spain. And we, uh, in Spain, we think that Paso Doble is like uh, the overture uh, for a concert. Uh, it's like an uh, overture in, in the orchestra, but in Paso Doble, we usually start with, uh, in Spain, we usually start with a paso doble. It's like our overture. So I want to do a paso doble in in US. We have different kinds of paso dobles, of course. And this kind of paso doble that uh, I will do, Certamen Levantino, is a paso doble for concerts. Then we have uh, our most, uh, one of the most important genres in Spain is Zarzuela. Uh, it's a kind of song like opera, but with Spanish topics. And uh, in this case, we will do uh, Las Bodas de Luis Alonso. It's a, mm, a small zarzuela, but very popular. And of course, uh, I want to do a, what I think a good song for wind band. In this case, is Glossé Dos, because the, the composer is one of the, was, was. <laughs> was one of the most important uh, composers for wind band in, in Spain. And it's a, I think it's a, a hard job, uh, an, inter an a interesting job, of course. Interesting. Um, I, I really am intrigued by how significant the Paso Doble is for your concerts. And it reminds me somewhat of how um, oftentimes bands get associated with marches. I know there have been conductors in the past where it's like you start with a march and you end with a march. So. Um, that's really interesting that there are these two different genres, but they function um, similar purposes in a concert. Yeah. So um, I hate to ask this because I know that I'm sure you love all of these pieces equally, but do you have a favorite between these three? Yes. The problem is that uh, the three pieces are totally different, <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally. So it's very difficult to, to decide, but... Of course, uh, uh, to conduct the Glossy Dos is very good for the conductor and to play for the musicians because it's a, a very hard job. And for me, uh, the composer Blanquer means uh, something spe special because I knew uh, Blanquer some years ago. And uh, Blanquer uh, has a, has a Mm, for me, a very important thing in his compositions is because we usually say Mozart, all the songs of Mozart are similar. Uh, Tchaikovsky, all the songs of Tchaikovsky are similar. You can say, ah, this is Tchaikovsky because uh, you listen something like Tchaikovsky. But Blanquer is a, mm, a fantastic composer, has different songs that is impossible uh, to, to say that this is the same composer, it's incredible because they're totally different. So for me, Blanquer is a very good composer. And in this moment, maybe I can, I can say that mm, maybe I, I decide the, <laughs> to conduct Blanquer is in this moment the, the most important for me in this concert. That's fascinating. I'm really interested to go listen to more of his work. I was unfamiliar with the composer, but, but you make me want to go listen to more of it, which is really exciting. Um, so outside of working with the students, is there anything that you hope that the audience will take away from hearing the three pieces that you are conducting? 
uh, I hope I hope the the people enjoy, of course, the audience enjoy, and I hope, uh, or, or maybe I want, that they listen uh, the different kind of music that we have in Spain, uh, with a traditional uh, paso doble, a traditional zarzuela, and um, one of the good uh, jobs for for wind band. So I I hope they they love they will love the the songs uh, is my is my idea or my goal <laughs> well i'm looking forward to it and i can't wait to hear the concert but i'm really excited to hear these pieces that you and dr giraldi have chosen and that you'll be conducting and the concert i believe i misspoke it's the 15th of february i said the 14th at the beginning but it should be the 15th um anyway i hope you have a really nice day and thanks so much thank you so much thank you